Good morning, friends. First, let me apologize. I had this all typed up and meant to record yesterday, but I somehow forgot to actually record it after I went about through my day of shopping and everything else. But it's been one hell of a fantasy basketball season, and I thought it went great. Having the compressed schedule definitely made jumbling your roster around a little more complicated, but also more fun. Congratulations goes out to Tacos for winning the championship versus Serenity last week. I wish Serenity would have been at full health only because I would have loved to see how those two teams would have competed, but that's part of fantasy. Luckily for Tacos, he never really got hit by the injury bug. I'm not trying to downplay Taco's win, since clearly he was on a roll from the middle of the season to the end, and there may not have been any stopping him. I'm looking forward to next season, as we've got some new ideas we're going to try and implement. Tops on the list is a buy-in fee, with the winnings being split. The final decision on how to split it still needs to be determined, as well as the amount the buy-in will cost. Tacos will also be taking over for myself as co-league manager with Serenity next year. Serenity is more like a figurehead at this point and doesn't do a whole lot, but he's the first one that got us all together and created this league way back when, so he gets to keep a hand in it. I've helped out for the last two years, but I'm looking forward to stepping back and just focusing on my team and life more so than, things, uh, than on things like fantasy basketball videos. Tacos and I also talked about providing more of a lottery-based drafting system following the standings of the 2012-2013 season. This would mean last place team would have more names in the bowl than higher ranked teams, and the two who battle it out for the championship would automatically draft last and second to last. This could be done with either a keeper league, if we started that next season, as well as non-keeper leagues. This gives a little more to the last place team, especially if we decide to have a penalty for that team, like paying half the entry fee for the winner the following season or something like that. The Facebook page will remain open throughout the offseason so everyone can still contribute ideas as well as votes and such. I know Poverty also mentioned he might have two additional people interested in joining us, bringing our total up to 12 if all 10 of us return, and I hope we will. Well, that's it, gentlemen. I know we had some trophies to talk about, and maybe those extra ones will get put in, but we have to talk about them, figure out how we want to go about doing it, and we'll figure all that out. But I don't think I'm going to be doing any more videos at this point on. But I look forward to seeing you all next season. Ciao.